peak season is coming. I'm ready to see what opportunities for PVD will come out in California myself. If you check out Instagram, you'll see some teasers coming out about the holiday season. And I will show you an article where they're saying they're going to hire over 100,000 seasonal workers this year. This means good money for everybody if you're willing to put in the hard work. But I will show you a couple things to know to avoid some stumbling blocks and hopefully get you working faster. So this is your latest look at the UPS jobs site. All right, so this is a quick peek today on the 20th at the UPS site. An article that went up, it looks like on the 7th, talking about 100,000 plus seasonal workers being hired and digital first, which I think most of us would like. No interviews and a job offer for most roles in as little as 25 minutes. Honestly, I think this is similar to last year. Um, what I have noticed, I'm in California, and there's, in Northern California, nothing happening at all yet. There's like four package handler type roles open where I'm at. However, I've already seen PVD's uh, positions listed in other states farther east. So I know out here, October, November, I applied last November, and I think I was kind of a late applier. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same as usual, seasonal delivery and CDL drivers, package handlers, and driver helpers, and the wages will be competitive. It will be interesting to see what kind of gas and mileage reimbursement there is this year because our gas prices are so high. Um, and the proven pathway to a career, I find this a bit misleading. As far as the PVD is more people went into package handler roles than driver, there's this romantic mythology on the internet of people hoping if they're the best PVD ever they get a UPS driver job but then in reality many of them are told well there's a two and a half year plus wait so apply to be a package handler but um I think ambition is good either way so that is um the news so far I keep checking. I don't even know if I will do it this year, but the temptation is great because the money's so good and it's such an independent job, which I love. Um, who out there from last year who watched my videos is planning to apply this year? And who has questions this year? All right, so some actual helpful stuff if you haven't seen this, because on a lot of my other videos, people are always like, oh my gosh, how do I apply? When are they hiring? Jobs-ups.com. And their user interface looks a little bit different this year. Put in your city or your zip, go to search. There's like nothing happening in Northern California right now, but here's where you'll see the positions. I am not applying for that, but say you wanted to, you can go to apply. There is some kind of job description here. This quick apply thing is new. That's kind of cool. And they're trying to emphasize the ease of applying this year. Yeah, this actually, I haven't seen this part before. So it explains, like, I already have a profile, but create a profile, watch some videos, basic info. The job offer is literally, you'll see it right um, away. That it explains good. what the job is, the benefits. Let's see, they're not, are they listing hourly pay? They do pay every week. This is true. I love that part. So you can save, you can see location. There's some fluff here. This website's actually a lot better. Last year, I think we made 32. So it varies by the state. So things to look out for. Um, last year, they used a third-party call center that seemed to be overseas. There was miscommunication. So when you fill out the application, you should get a confirmation in your email. Um, if you don't, something is wrong. It should have some kind of date in it or a phone interview or an orientation. I'm not sure yet for this year. A lot of that wasn't necessarily accurate, but you did get a call from a call center. Um, you should get a start date. There was definitely some confusion when they called, but eventually I got it worked out. And what you're looking for is a start date to physically show up at a UPS hub. That's how you know you made it. If you don't hear back on a background check, mine didn't even take a week. Follow up. There's an 800 number somewhere. You will see it in the portal when you apply. Stay diligent. And then when you get to physically go to the hub. A few people last year throughout the country showed up at the hub on the date they were given at the 
a point in time and they were like, what are you talking about? We're not hiring. So try to stay patient. If you're patient, you know, just be courteous to people, even if it's kind of whacked. Um, you will get your actual start date and get going. And theoretically, that shouldn't take more than two weeks. Um, every state, so I don't know if contractually they're allowed to have anybody working before something like October 15th. Every state will have st different start and end dates. And at the latest, the second week of January is the ending. So as long as you're super conscientious and don't just let it slide if you don't hear anything, you'll be good to go. Last year, the pay was incredible. The work was hard, but it was a very independent job. Get in, deliver packages, and get out. Pay was correct and on time and there was no drama. Who can ask for more than that for a seasonal side hustle type job?